Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So in today's video, I'm actually creating a card in a collaboration with a friend called Elizabeth. So her Instagram and her YouTube channel will be linked in my description for you guys. So we both bought the classic Christmas tree die from Simon Hurley. Um, and I noticed that there's not that much like inspiration of pictures out there yet. And I don't know if it's because, you know, it is still quite new. Um or whatnot but I thought it would be quite fun to you know come in and basically give you some more inspiration for this classic Christmas tree so I think Elizabeth will probably go with a classic green Christmas tree because her favorite color is green I wanted to go a little bit differently so I decided to bring in my S&N girl from Sweet Novembers to go with this um just so it looks like she's decorating the christmas tree you know she's just about to put some candy canes on there so this is the s and n girl candy um and instead of going for the classic green christmas tree i decided to go with a gray silver and white christmas tree so i actually used some glitter card stock from i believe it's ultra new yeah, it's also new and it's called the I have no idea. <laughs> what color what color card stuck is this? It is the glitter Milky Way card stocks. So you get different color card stocks with glitter effects. Um and they're all 110 pounds. So so we have black diamond, sapphire, in in I can't say it. <laughs> Incessant Hamilton Platinum Silver and Moonstone. So for this card, I used the silver. Um, originally, I was going to use the Moonstone as well, which is like a white embossing, um, embossing and glitter. Um, but I didn't want to add too much glitter into this card. The only thing I don't understand is with my heat embossing with glitter. Um, it just never seems to let me see the wording properly so my wording always gets smudged somehow so i don't know why that is so if you guys have a similar experience or you know what i'm doing wrong then let me know so one of the parts of the collab with elizabeth we both said that we wanted to incorporate embossing somehow because again like i said a lot of people do struggle with it me included like i have my good days and my bad days so so the two things on my card that are embossed are actually my sentiment and then also the snowflake on her jumper because I thought it was super cute. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Everything I used will be linked in my description for you guys. Um, I did actually post this card yesterday when it wasn't even like fully coloured or anything um, because I couldn't decide on whether or not to like have a patterned wallpaper, have anything a lot of people told me just to leave it blank but i'm not that person i cannot deal with too much white space it drives me insane so i ended up going with a pink background with some tone on tone candy canes in the background and then for my carpet i went with just a neutral color and i used a stamp from another sweet november background stamp to add in that like fluffy texturing um but overall i think this card turned out super cute I was also going to add like a little pet in the corner, like a cat or a dog playing with the bubble on the tree, but I didn't get around to doing that and I didn't want to ruin my card by adding too many elements into it. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to insert some music. I'm going to speed the process up. Everything I use is linked again. And like I said, go and check out Elizabeth's card. I guarantee it's probably really cool. So definitely go and check her out. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.